Caliph Haroun al Rashid sent a watch as a gift to King Charlemagne of France. This clock was made of pure brass 4 meters high and was powered by water. On the hour, one ball would come out of the clock, two balls at two hours, and three balls at three hours, thus one more ball would be added with every hour, with a beautiful melodious sound as the ball came out. A horseman would go out and go round the clock and enter back. When it was 12 o'clock, 12 horsemen would go out and go back. Seeing these movements of the clock, King Charlemagne was very worried, he called the priests and astrologers to the palace. Everyone saw and said that there must be a devil inside this clock. Everyone came to the clock at night, thinking that Satan must have slept at that time. So when they opened the clock, they found nothing but the instruments, but the clock was damaged. There was no craftsman in all of France to repair the watch. Because of embarrassment, Harun could not even ask Rashid to send a Muslim craftsman. It means that when science was monopolized by Muslims, Europe considered science as magic. The first camera inventor in the world is Ibn Haytham. The first calendar inventor in the world is Umar Khayyam. Zakaria al-Razi is the one who introduced the method of sedating the patient before the operation. Algebra was invented and introduced to the world by Musa al khwarizmi In the year 1957 shampoo is invented by Muhammad. Ibn Sina is the first to describe the scientific causes of earthquakes on earth. It is Ibn Sina who introduced the use of magnesium dioxide for dyeing cloth and leather and for making glass. Ibn Sina is the one who introduced the method of refining metals, making steel. Abul Qasim al zaravi is the one who introduced the artificial teeth method. The one who introduced the method of straightening crooked teeth and extracting bad teeth is Abul Qasim al zaravi Ibn Sina was the first to introduce the knowledge of making medicines in Naya. It is Umar Khayyam who introduced the method of accurate measurement of gravity in the world. Abul Qasim al zaravi introduced the treatment of eye, nose, ear and gall by operation. Abul Qasim al zaravi is the one who introduced the three most important instruments used for surgery in the world. Yaqub al-Kindi is the founder of Elamai numerology and Jadariyazi among worldly sciences. It is Yaqub al-Kindi who determines the correct amount of medicine given to the patients. Zakaria al razi is the one who told the world about the effects of light on the eye. It is Al-Biruni which reveals that the speed of light is faster than the speed of sound. It is Al-Biruni who enlightens the world about the movements and characteristics of the earth, moon and planets. It is Al-Biruni who tells Naya seven ways to determine the direction of the North Pole and the South Pole. In the science of geology, the one called father of geology in the language of Westerners is Ibn Sina. It is Jabir bin Hain who describes the methods of making hydrochloric acid, nitric acid and white lead in the world. Ibn Sina is known as the father of chemistry in making and inventing chemicals. It is Ibn al-Haytham who introduced the world to the reflection of light and the central role of the retina in vision. And the correct determiner of the movement of the planets is Nasiruddin Tusi. All these were Muslim scientists, and you ask what has Islam given to the world so far? 